from the Computer Museum in Mountain View, California. It's the Cube covering ACG Silicon Valley Grow Awards. Brought to you by ACG Silicon Valley. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Jeff Frick here with the Cube. The program is just about to begin here at the ACG SV Grow Awards, 14th annual. We're excited to be here for our third year. 300 people are going to be giving out some hardware here shortly. But before we do that, we're excited to have Alex Wolf all the way up from Santa Cruz. He's the Dean of the Baskin School of Engineering at UC Santa Cruz. Welcome, Alex. That's right, well thank you very much. It's great to be here. Absolutely. So what do you think of this organization? How did you get involved? Well, I mean, it's been great for us. We, uh, we've been uh, drawn in by um, some great alumni who've been involved with the organization and uh, they're interested in uh, helping Santa Cruz, UC Santa Cruz School of Engineering and partnering with ACG is just a perfect way to do it. Excellent. So I was doing a little homework, obviously, before you came on. I was looking through the, the curriculum of the school yeah. and, the, and the engineering school, and you got CS and EE and all the normal stuff. But two things jumped out to me. Biomolecular engineering. Yes. And computational media. That's right. What are those, what are those disciplines? Well, well, let's see. Let's start with biomolecular engineering. That's, that's where we uh, are doing a lot of work in health and life. Uh, Santa Cruz is famous for one particular thing that happened a number of years ago, which was the sequencing of the human genome. Now, Santa Cruz played a huge role in that. This was the place where we were able to assemble the human genome for the first time and publish it on the web. And what year was that? That was 2003. And back then it took like massive amount of massive compute, amounts lots of, of time. Millions and millions of dollars. This was a project that was run by the government uh, many partners and uh, San Santa Cruz researchers in uh, School of Engineering were able to crack that nut and get these um, get the genome sequenced. And now we can do it. Now it's getting cheaper and cheaper. Uh, we've got researchers who've been working on that. We've spun out a bunch of companies that have worked on uh, less and less expensive, faster and faster sequencing techniques. Really, with the goal to get to individualized medicine, right? To That's get to right. Individualized personalized treatment. medicine. Uh, precision medicine, that's the goal. It's amazing what you can do. If you know the genome history, and if you can apply that to the drug treatments, it's, it's fantastic. I think medical science is so interesting because from whatever point you are, you look back 10 years and it looks like bloodletting. You know, no matter what we do today, <laughs> in 10 years from now, we're going to look back true. I mean, at it's cancer a revolution. treatment. Like we're get, we give people poison until they almost that's die. Right. That's the way we treat that's them. That's right. And the genome will tell you so much about that cancer treatment. We're doing other things too in stem cell. Um, and uh, nanopore technology, so there's just a wonderful set of technologies that people are inventing in the school. Great, and what about computational media? Computational media is a, is a rather different thing. That is uh, a concept where, where um, we're, talk, we're looking at um, uh, how media can be generated through algorithms. And this has very interesting applications in the game industry, in journalism, um, in many parts of our, our interaction with humans, it's great to be able to have a computer that really understands how to generate meaningful, realistic text. And what is the main benefit in some of the early research that you see? Because we've seen some really simple versions of this out there. It's a great yeah. little app that kids play sports. You know, right. you finish the game, you hit the game well, over, and it, it generates a nice little article for absolutely. you. Absolutely. You know, you mentioned personalization before. It's the same thing with, with computational media. You can get a game to be much more personalized to the player. It can understand that experience, understand the interests of the game player, and then tailor itself to that player. So how much do you work with the psychology department in this, in this world? Yeah, we have so a great collaboration. Human factors, right? Absolutely, we have a great collaboration with psychology. That's really, really important. You know, the computational media department is actually going to be growing into Silicon Valley. Santa Cruz, UC Santa Cruz has recently opened a campus in Silicon Valley. Where? It's in Santa Clara. Okay. And we're right now hiring faculty into that campus. So is it open then? Or it, when will the it be open? The facility is open. We held an ACG event there uh, in January. We're going to be holding more of them there. It's a great location. Excellent. All right. Well, maybe we have to come by and do a, uh, a field trip when you get do. it all outfitted. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. Well, we have, unfortunately, we have to leave it there. They're going to pull everybody right. into, the, uh, into the keynotes, but I'm thanks looking for taking forward a few to minutes. It. Thank you very much. All right. He's Alex 
I'm Jeff. You're watching theCUBE from ACGSV, Mountain View, California. Thanks for watching.